children are among the dead and wounded in Japan where a man has gone on a stabbing rampage in a bus stop, killing at least three people and wounding up to 19. The incident occurred at Kawasaki City in Tokyo South. Around 13 of those being treated are children and witnesses say a man started attacking people as they waited for the bus. Our EBC correspondent Christine Mendoza is at the scene. A mass stabbing at a bus stop in Kawasaki, just south of Tokyo, leaves three dead, including a school child, a man, and the perpetrator himself. The incident occurred at Kawasaki City in Tokyo South. Around 13 of those being treated are children. Witnesses say a man started attacking people as they waited for a bus. The man started to shout, I will kill you. The suspected attacker, a man in his 50s, had also died of his wounds after turning the knife on himself. The attack occurred during the busy early morning commute as workers headed to their offices and children to school. Kanagawa Prefectural Police officials said many of the victims who were waiting at a school bus stop in Tama Ward, about 250 meters northwest of Noborito Station, are students from Caritas Elementary School, a private Catholic school in the same ward. Many of the victims sustain wounds to the neck and they may also develop post-traumatic stress disorder, according to the hospitals treating them. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe condemned the attack saying he felt it is the strong very anger first time in against history it. That the first, I think, I don't think, uh, I'm afraid to walk this around. Um, his home is around here, oh, okay. so uh, now his way to school is here, so I am afraid of this problem. Uh, I don't think Trump has something to do. Has with something this. to no, no. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you think about it? Is it just social or mental problem? Mental problem. He's oh, elementary school student mm -hmm. is so he planned to kill mm -hmm. elementary student. As of this moment, people are coming over here at the crime scene to offer prayers and flowers for the victims. Violent crime is extremely rare in Japan, and children often travel to and from schools alone. The country has famously strict gun control regulations, and gun crime is unusual, but there have been a few high-profile stabbing attacks. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe told reporters that children's safety should be protected at any cost. Education Minister Masahiko Shibayama said at a news conference Tuesday that Abe instructed him to make every possible effort to secure safety at schools and commute, school commuting roads. Reporting from Kawasaki, Tokyo, Japan, this is Christine Mendoza for Eagle News International and I am one with 25.